This fiscal year, what does the increased budget enacted by Congress mean for ACC? So for all of us, you know, I just said, hey, it's 20 years I've been doing contracting, right? So that's 20 years of CRs. I think it was 22 total, right? We got a budget on 1, Oct one October. We're, so that is monumentally different for all of us. Um, but I, I don't think it's a huge change, um, but it, it's going to cause us to have to say, okay, instead of waiting into the end of the fiscal year when the money's coming, what are the things we can do today to say, hey, things are coming, money's coming down to your customer base. What are those procurements that your customer wants to attack now? And what are the, what are the maybe downstream uh, requirements that may, or contracts that may be coming to an end that you can start having that conversation with them on, okay, now what do you want to do? You're, you know, that, that contract's come and due, or you have this new, new uh, requirement, let's get started today. As opposed to, you know, we're in a CR, no new starts, we're just kind of doing the, you know, waiting for money to drop. We got time now to move. Um, and and it, that's not just with the customer, that's with your contractor too. You can talk to your contractors and go, look, we're, we are in a uh, different environment. And it's a good environment to be in because we can actually make a lot of progress and we've got a lot of room in front of us. But, but that room in front of us can't be wasted. We, we got to get after it today. Um, we can't do uh, what we've done in the past, which is, hey, this is the first quarter, let's do all our annual training, let's, let's polish up some documentation, let's take some time to do some of the admin things. No, 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 we need to get after the full scope of what we do as contracting professionals. Uh, and, and contract admin, which is one of the things we used to do just in the first, you know, we'd say, hey, let's do contract closeouts in the first quarter and do some, some training and things like that. That's, that's great, except we gotta do contract admin all the way around the clock. We need to do pre-award all the way around the clock. So, you know, back to my priorities, we need to do the full scope of contracting uh, throughout this fiscal year and consistently all the way through. We can't just do contract admin now because we have some, some slack time. I don't think we have slack time. We've got move time. Army leaders are driving forward with initiatives to modernize our equipment and reform the way we do business. What do these efforts such as the creation of the Army Futures Command mean to ACC? Well, by any measure, ACC is gonna be tied to this um, because it's science and technology, it's contracts, it's you name it, headquarters support. Um, so what we've done is across the eight CFTs, we've aligned two, uh, fit two 1102s uh, and my guidance was these will be a team performers and thou shalt always have an a team performer with this with the CFTs. Um, we've also aligned some some uh, people to help the headquarters as well uh, to help with the management and working with the centers. What I don't think we will do in the near term um, is have uh, ACC AFC. That's 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 not going to happen. We're not going to have a separate center. I think it's uh, it's something that we align talent to. Um, I think it's actually very exciting. If I was a, you know, a, a, an 1102 being aligned to AFC, I think would be a fantastic opportunity because it's gonna be, you know, high visibility, high op tempo, science and technology. Um, and uh, you know, that comes with a lot of pressure too, right? Pressure to perform. Um, it is kind of a no fail. Um, but I got enough faith and confidence in the people um, across the command that I, I'm not worried about um, the, the support to the cross-functional teams. I, the, the, the senior leaders that call me back on what we're doing with the CFTs have all been absolutely 100% positive on, hey, you gave me the right person. Hey, they are aggressive. Hey, they are getting after this. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So to date, right now, um, I know of several OTAs that are running that our people have really leaned forward and done a great uh, bunch of work for Army Futures. We just got to keep doing it.